Hi everyone and welcome to our presentation. I'm Brendan. I'm Tanaga. Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm Jean. I'm Justin and our team name is called Second Nature. We are third year industrial design students from the University of Johannesburg in South Africa and we shall be presenting our project for the hackathon in this video. Our challenge of choice is sustainability and touches on aspects of health. Imagine you are a young child from a low income household and you live in a South African rural area. You walk to school every day without shoes. You outgrew your last pair and your parents could no longer afford to continue buying you new shoes since your feet has been growing quickly lately and sometimes you are unable to travel to school because the ground is either too hot to walk on on summer days or your feet are just numb from all the cold in the winter seasons. Your feet have also been exposed to a lot of diseases and injury because of this. Well, you would be one of 3.5 million South Africans who have no shoes to wear, um, exposing their feet to harsh weather conditions, rough terrains and soil diseases when they walked on average six kilometers to school and to other places. The major cause of this in rural South Africa is the inability for children's guardians or parents to afford buying their shoes as their children outgrow the, um, each pair. This presents an opportunity to design footwear that accommodates for both of these problems. We as a team have decided to tackle this problem by designing a modular shoe, which can be adjusted in size, corresponding with the continuously growing feet of children, teenagers and young adults in South African communities. The modular and adjustable pair of shoe will be made from biodegradable material, so that if any other parts are damaged, they can be disposed of correctly. Some of these materials include, but are not limited to, hemp and sessile. The rubber from car tires is the proposed material for the shoe's sole because it is non-degradable, which actually provides longevity and durability. This is because used car tires can last up to 20 years in use if the average person in Africa walks a distance of 2,190 kilometers a year. Worn out soles will then be reused to make more shoes in order to avoid repolluting the environment. The design will come in four distinct categories, which are extra small, small, medium, and large. Each category will accommodate three UK sizes. For example, the medium sized shoe can be used throughout a shoe size change from UK size seven to size nine, which actually makes our shoe more attractive than secondhand shoes, which need to be replaced each time the foot grows. Well, we feel at Shoe Society that Africa is unique in itself. And if we don't use African solutions, we're not gonna get the best results possible. Um, so we have taken a very hands-on approach by using our passions for product design, our skills in effective communication, as well as the fact that we live in South Africa and we see these things happen every day, these issues of that children and families are struggling with and it's personal to us. So why Shoe Society is different is that basically we using local manufacturing methods, local materials, everything is in stages of design and manufacture where it, the manufacturers will get designs from designers that will create the shoe that it's it's more than just an individual effort it's it's a societal and incorporated method of entire communities and it's it slows the cost drastically it makes shoes more affordable it's it's a whole supply chain which increases the movability so as the issue is centralized on the unaffordability of footwear in lower income communities across africa uh, we have gone on to develop a standardized product to counter that problem. But the main issue is how to lay out a, method, a payment method to the unprivileged that is not intimidating to, to them, but still attractive to investors. So when it comes to, to the affordability of the shoe, we plan to offer a payment method through a subscription service, subscription service rather, which is subsidized for the first payment. Users can subscribe to the service whereby repairs and place, replacements are backed into the, account, into the contract. Uh, payments are subsidized at a lower cost and uh, over time for costs are covered, you know, allowing consumers some financial fle flexibility and assurance over time. Um, this creates a business value based upon empathy design and sustainability, therefore eventually drawing private and international organizations that support development. And the business cost, uh, which investors will want it inside of, will be determined by the type of financial structure agreed upon that leads to the shoe costs as the business income. Nevertheless, our unique method with the right investors will not only impact communities, but draw attention for further business extensions and higher